but I'll respond to a couple of things you mentioned. First of all, Russia, I indicated, is a geopolitical foe. Not a, no, one excuse me, it's a geopolitical foe. And I said in the, same, in the same paragraph, I said, and Iran is the greatest national security threat we face. Russia does continue to battle us in the UN time and time again. I have clear eyes on this. I'm not gonna wear rose colored glasses when it comes to Russia or Mr. Putin. And I'm certainly not gonna say to him, I'll give you more flexibility after the election. After the election, he'll get more backbone. Number two, with regards to Iraq, you and I agreed, I believe, that there should have been a status of forces agreement. That's did not you? True. Oh, you didn't. You didn't want a status of forces no, agreement. No. What I what I would not have done is left ten thousand troops in Iraq that would tie us down. That certainly would not help us in the Middle East. I'm sorry. Look, you actually there was a there was an effort on the part of the president to have a status of forces agreement, and I concurred in that and said that we should have some number of troops that stayed on. That was something I concurred with. That was your posture. That was my posture as well. You thought it should have been 5,000 troops. I thought it should have been more troops. But you know what? The answer was we got no troops through whatsoever. This is just a few weeks ago that you indicated that we should still have troops in Iraq. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. That's you made a major speech. I indicated that you failed to put in place a status of Governor. forces agreement at the end of the conflict that existed. Governor, right. here, here's, you know here's, here's one thing, you know I've, here's one thing, I've, here's, here's one thing I've learned as commander in chief. You've got to be clear, both to our allies and our enemies, about where you stand and what you mean. Now, you just gave a speech a few weeks ago in which you said we should still have troops in Iraq. That is not a recipe for making sure that we are taking advantage of the opportunities and meeting the challenges of the Middle East. Now, it is absolutely true that we cannot just meet these challenges militarily. And so what I've done throughout my presidency and will continue to do is, number one, make sure that these countries are supporting our counterterrorism efforts. Number two, make sure that they are standing by uh, our interests in Israel's security, because it is a true friend and our greatest ally in the region. Number three, we do have to make sure that we're protecting religious minorities and women because these countries can't develop unless all the population, not just half of it, is developing. Number four, we do have to develop their economic, uh, their economic capabilities. But number five, the other thing that we have to do is recognize that we can't continue to do nation building in these regions. Part of American leadership is making sure that we're doing nation right. building here at home. That will help us uh, maintain the kind of American leadership that we need.